Diana Demerick here, ra ra ra. I am back once again with some motivation and inspiration for you. It's another case study from one of my coaching sessions and I'm, I'm quite unique as a coach. I specialise in easy housekeeping, successful business management and just implementing some, some simple routines to, to give us a, a happy life. And when you meet with me for a coaching session, you just sign up for one session, we go through what, what's going on in your life, where you, where you want to make some changes, and when you finish the session with me, you go off with a list of practical ideas that you can put into place. Anyway, I'm, I'm bringing these to you with little case studies and showing you how to adapt things from the fly lady system, from the getting things done system, to your situation. So anyway, let's let's dive right into today's case study. We'll call her P uh, Petra, I've changed her name, but she is uh, a German lady. I have, I have a lot of uh, German clients. She has uh, two kids, a partner, and she has two jobs, Petra. She has uh, an Etsy business, you know, making things, and also she is teaching. She's teaching the things that, that she makes. And for, for Peta, one of the big changes for her was starting to use the getting things done method. Now I've taught you this before. I've got a whole series on getting things done together with the fly lady system. I'll, I'll put the link up there and a link down below. To boil it down into, into just a few words, we are taking all the ideas that pop into our head, all the things that we want to do, all the things that we need to remember, all the things that we need to discuss with somebody else. We're putting them down on a list that is not just a big one of those rambling lists where it's like, oh, you know, what, what am I supposed to be doing today? And it, it's a very unwieldy list. Now, this is fantastic time management and it really helped Petra to organise what she needed to do and enabled her to get it done. And hands up if, if you've seen me with this uh, piece of paper before, you know, in the, the four sections. You absolutely do not need to do it this way. You could have four notebooks, you could create four lists on your telephone. I use Google Keep uh, for my lists. Every time you have a thought of something that you need, you know, something pops into your head, Usually in the middle of the night, you know, when you wake up at three o'clock in the morning, if you're like me, postmenopausal, it's always, it's always between two o'clock and three o'clock in the morning. You wake up <gasps> and, and you've got this thought. J just write it down. Now, w w once you've got a, a big unwieldy list of all these things that have popped into your head, you know, that kind of uh, classic brain dump thing, we're taking it one step further. Once you've done your brain dump, you know, you've got that big, long rambling list. You're going to take each of the items on the list and you're going to transfer them to here. This is how you're going to move forward with all of those things. Four categories. You're going to have home. I'll, I'll explain these in a minute. Home, outside, discuss, online. Let me give you a few examples. It's Gertrude's birthday. What do you need to do for Gertrude's birthday? Do you have to set the table for dinner for her birthday? Do you have to buy a gift or a card the next time you are out on errand day, when you're outside away from home? Do you have to discuss Gertrude's birthday with Gertrude? Does she want to have a party? Do you need to discuss Gertrude's birthday with somebody else? Maybe you've been invited. To Gertrude's birthday and you're not sure if you're going to the party? Do you need to order something for Gertrude's birthday? A gift? Decorations for a party? That will go on this section online. Let's take another example. You've got an Etsy order that you need to fulfill. What, what do you need to do there? Is it something that you're going to do when you are physically at home or in your office? Or you, do you actually have to make the thing? Do you have to pick up some supplies in order to make the thing for your business? You'll add that to your errand day list when you're next time you're outside. Do you need to ask the client exactly what they need? Perhaps you've got a query about the order. Is it something you need to do online? 
Do you need to set up a shipping label for the product that you're making? Now, the brilliant thing about this list is it contains everything that you need to get done and it allows you to change between the different categories and really focus on things. When you are out on your errand day or away from home, when you're outside, away from your desk, you're, you're somewhere else, you can focus in on that list. What was it that I was supposed to be buying when I was out on my errand day, picking up, dropping off, you, you've got it on that list. If you are at home or at your desk, what is it that you need to be working on? You've got it right there. You, you don't need to be looking at that long and unwieldy list. You've got it right there. You are together with the family or with your boss or with your significant other. What is it that you need to discuss before you can get moving on a project and before it goes to one of the other categories? And last one is when you're working on your computer, when you're standing there with your smartphone, waiting in a long queue in a store, you can whip out your list and say, okay, what was it? Maybe you need to send a text to somebody. Maybe you want to look online for something. And when I heard back from Petra after our session, she, she started up with this and, and it took her a few days to get into it. And with all these things, you, you have to adjust as you go. Maybe you prefer to work uh, on a, a, with digital lists, Maybe you like to work with notebooks, that, that will depend on, on, on your nature. But she found that she got so much more done because when she was feeling uh, creative at home, she could go on to whatever it was. If she was out teaching classes on the way to teaching, she could pick up supplies on her way there. She could discuss with clients exactly what they needed and, and none of these things were getting lost. She wasn't physically or mentally doing any more work, but it just kept her very, very focused on each of those things. So let, let me know, have, have you tried the, the getting things done system? If you need a little refresher, as I said, I've taught it before. I think there are six or seven videos where I go into it in, in more detail. And if you've been using this system or any other system to get you organized, but still feeling like you are getting distracted, I will be talking about that in, in a future video. So watch out for that. And I don't know if you can hear the rain today. It, it is supposed to be spring here in Copenhagen, uh, but we, we've got the Easter decorations up. And I'll just give you a, a quick look at those because I know many of you are intrigued by the way that we decorate here in Denmark. I've, I've got videos about decorating. I'll actually post some old videos on my Facebook page, Diana Denmark, uh, and, and over on Instagram, where you can see me working with my bestie, uh, V, because she is a decorator and she does beautiful decorations for, for Easter. We have some easy crafts. I don't know if you remember the, the secret snowdrop letter that you can make with your kids, or can make for a, for a grandchild, or you can make for a friend, or make one for yourself. And I've got the beautiful, First, first spring flowers here from the garden. I love these ones. I hope you liked uh, today's video. If you want more motivation and inspiration, you can subscribe. Uh, that, that's how you can support me. And if you'd like to win a free coaching session with me, if you saw my videos last week, we did a five day, five minute declutter each day last week. You can comment on any of those videos. You can comment on my Facebook page. You can comment on my Instagram. And I'm giving a free coaching session. I'm doing a giveaway on three, three chances to win. You can, you can enter uh, all three places. You can enter as many times as you like. Just say yes, please. And I will be running that giveaway until the end of this week. So good luck with that. And all I've got left to say is live long and prosper. May the Danish spring rain hoogie be with you. And I shall see you very soon with a wrap, wrap, wrap. Okay, bye for now.